this time I didn't check to see what was in it before I opened it. Um, I got this a couple of days ago. It's kind of been sitting there. So I have no idea what is in here. So sealed like it normally is. The card for this month says a front row fab. And apparently there are five items plus a bonus. So I will go with the bonus one off first. This is a sample of the Extra Strength Serum and Finishing Cream from John Frieda. Uh, this one here you put in wet hair. And this one here is to go in dry hair. Actually, that's not bad. I'd be interested to try that. It's supposed to eliminate frizz, uh, smooth, hydrate, and tame. So that's that's interesting. And um, they're both like serums and stuff like this. You probably don't need very much, so this is probably give you a few like goes at it. The next thing is something that I have already had and used before. <clears throat> which is the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. I didn't actually think very much of it. I didn't find that it really did anything for me, so... Um, but that'll just go in my sample collection. I'll get around to it eventually. Um, and then we have uh, Pure Pawpaw Ointment. This is from Core Metrics. Um, I have used um, Lucas Pawpaw's Pawpaw ointment. This one is all safety sealed and everything. Uh, I like Pawpaw ointment. It's really good if you've like got burns or scratches or like um, the beginning of an infection. You know like, um, like when I do my nails sometimes I will like just nick the side of my thing and if I put some Pawpaw on it it's really good for stopping um, infections and stuff like that from actually occurring because purple has a natural antibacterial element to it um, so it's something that people in Australia use quite a bit um, yeah so it's it's okay I don't really need any because I've got like heaps of it apparently this is worth four dollars ninety five um, and this in the full size is $34.95. Um, this is uh, less than half of what the full size is. Not quite a quarter, a third of the full size. Then we have a sample from Avene. It's their uh, cleansing lotion. I wasn't going to try to read the French on it because I would just wreck that. Apparently it's no rinse and fragrance free. It's supposed to be for hypersensitive and irritable skin. It doesn't have any English. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. That's my dog being weird. Um, it doesn't have any instructions, but it says no rinse, which is really weird. But it's supposed to be an extremely gentle cleanser lotion. So no doubt I'll use it, but then I will probably rinse it off because that's what I always do. Um, Apparently you massage into the skin and tissue it off to leave your skin feeling clean, smooth and restored. Okay. Um, no rinse but wipe it off. Mm. I don't really like the feeling of most cleansers left on my skin anyway. So that in its full size is $31.95. The full size is 200 mils. This is 25 mils. Then we have something which... Oh, as soon as I saw this, I just wanted to cringe and kind of hide in a hole. This is a Scylla Gel Blender. It's, it's a silly sponge, basically. Uh, this is by Style London. This one happens to have glitter particles in it. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, but 
I did realise, just sitting here thinking, that something like this would actually be good for putting on like a mask like this, which is like really messy. I always end up with it underneath my fingernails. It just makes a huge mess. Using something like this to apply it would actually make a certain amount of sense. So, yeah, maybe there is a use for these afterwards. I do have another one that's a little bit smaller than this. Um, and I didn't find that it blended my makeup very well. Uh, it's very gimmicky, quite frankly. Um, but yeah, I think that would be, it'd be good for like applying masks with, so maybe I'll try that. Uh, and that, <laughs> I want 14 bucks for this puppy. Like, yeah, I don't think so. And the last thing in here is the Model Co. Instant Brow Retractable Pencil. Um, this is in light medium, so it might actually be okay. Looks like. Um, okay. oh. There's a spoolie on one end, just a short, fat spoolie. I prefer a slightly finer spoolie myself. And it's one of those weird teardrop drop shaped ones. to try it out and see. I only have like 10 bazillion eye product, uh, eyebrow products to use. Um, yeah, and that is apparently $16 for that one. Um, honestly, I am not impressed with this particular box. And considering I only get them once every two months, I guess I'm kind of hoping that I'll get, you know, that's why I wasn't doing it every month is because I just wasn't getting products that I really liked and I am on the borderline of cancelling this one as well. Which will be really sad because that means I won't have any beauty subscriptions. But it's just, the products are just, I mean this is ridiculous. Like they're a stupid gimmick quite frankly. This I can go and pick up in any supermarket or um chemist or anything like a purple ointment in Australia is super duper easy to get um, I'm not a big fan of masks so um, the cleanser is one thing I can actually use the eyebrow pencil is in a color that I can probably get away with and these are kind of okay so like half the box is okay the other half of the box is just ugh. yeah so not hugely thrilled with this particular bottle box. I'll probably give them uh, one more month which will pretty much take me up to the end of the year and if the November box is shit like this then I'm just going to cancel again because it's just it's not worth spending the I think it's close to I think $17.95 for shitty samples basically. So, uh, so that was my unboxing of my Bella Box for this month. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there or the little icony thing, which is there somewhere. Um, a couple of other videos you might want to watch. Leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.